Dear students, welcome to Tungara Online Classes. Today we will start with the MCQs that is multiple choice questions. I hope you have prepared well the entire material given by our so college itself, right? So and you are so thorough in the theory part. So if you are so thorough in the theory part, then it is very easy for you people to solve all these bits. Right? So I have written all the bits on the board now and will analyze the answers one by one. And remember one thing that the number of the question number is different over here on the board and the question number is different in material. Keep the material before you and identify that particular question what I read over here and try to analyze them. Why? Because the many of the questions are asked on even cockroach too. So that's why so you, you must focus only earthworm as well as the frog only. So as well as all other animal tissues. So let us start with the first question. So with enthusiasm, we'll start, right? The first question, right? Level 1, it is KCT level questions. These are... So there are different kinds of questions usually asked in the examination that is NEET examination. First one is direct questions are usually asked over here at CT level and another one is match the following type of question is there. Match the following type of question is also asked in the examination and assertion as well as the region type of questions are also usually asked in the examination that is the toughest or hard task for us to identify assertion and reason so which is correct which is not correct so there we will have to analyze very thoroughly if we have the confidence on the topic so then easily we can crack the answer right so let us start with the first question now so first question is the cells of the epithelial tissue are held together by right epithelium tissue so has epithelial cells and the cells together so they are held with the help of some kind of specialized membranous proteins called as so cell junctions those junctions are of three kinds already i have mentioned in theory part one is a tight junction adhering junction gap junctions like this there are three kinds of junctions that we come across that's why cells in the epithelial tissue are held with the help of a cellular junctions not other materials right then the answer is cellular junctions is the answer for question so matrix is not responsible intercellular matrix in between the cells there is a matrix and intracellular matrix means within the cell so these are not the correct answer for the first question right so then second question in origin epithelium is means epithelial tissue so originated from which germ layer is the question over here so there are three germ layers that we come across already in theory i have explained during the formation of embryo there the formation of three germ layers take place so one is ectoderm endoderm mesoderm like this there are three germ layers so all the three germ layers from which the epithelial tissue is originating that's why the answer in this question is all the above all the above is the answer for this question right so ectoderm why because from ectoderm it originates from mesoderm as well as from endoderm that's why answer is all the above right next question trachea and large bronchi are lined by right trachea as well as large bronchi where they are how they are let us see diagrammatically first and later we'll see what they are lined with okay so this is the trachea respiratory tract and it is broken into two large bronchi and trachea has semicircular or c-shaped rings right so cartilage rings it has and this one also have right so this is called as trachea and this is called 
as large bronchi remember these two are usually lined by so since these are since these are the air passages right so here the air that passes through this one so there is a need of a cilia then one clue is cilia itself right cilia are usually present over there then what kind of epithelium these cilia are usually present so these cilia are usually present either on the columnar cells or on the cuboidal cells especially here columnar cells columnar cells are present over here and one more thing i had given the example for so this is so trachea as well as large bronchi so that is pseudo stratified one so what kind of so tissue is there pseudo stratified so then what is the answer for this one pseudo stratified columnar ciliated epithelium right so is the answer for this question see here which is the correct answer ciliated pseudo stratified columnar epithelium is the correct answer c is the correct answer for this question right so not the stratified epithelium singly it is not at all the answer ciliated cuboidal epithelium not possible so non ciliated pseudo stratified columnar it is also not there then the answer is ciliated columnar stratified pseudo stratified epithelium is the correct answer for this question okay next question to which one of the following categories does adipose tissue belong see here adipose tissue is one of the loose connective tissue right and this adipose tissue is meant specially for storage of the fat material so this is the fact what you are aware of right you know it better and so which category it is belongs to means whether it is belonging to any one of the animal tissue that is epithelial connective muscular as well as neural which uh, tissue it is belonging to see here adipose tissue is one of the connective tissue that's why it is belonging to connective tissue not belonging to any other animal tissues right so this is the answer correct answer is option b and the next question which one of the following is not a connective tissue is not a connective tissue so then we will have to identify all the connective tissues and one of them says is not a connective tissue let us see see here bone itself is one of the connective tissue is one of the connective tissue that is skeletal tissue what we have studied so cartilage is also one of the skeletal tissue that is also connective tissue blood is also fluid connective tissue it is commonly known as it is its matrix is fluid in nature but muscles are not at all the connective tissue it comes in the muscular tissue that's why answer is muscles so muscles itself is the correct answer for this question right so and the next question what is that match the following type of question that is very important one keenly you have to observe the uh, matchings over here right so first column has some of the structures and the second column has its structures means so the structures which are coming under this the structures under column 1 right so in column 1 neurons are here these neurons usually have see here this is a neuron this is a neuron it has two parts one is what cyton a cell body is called as and this cyton and this one is axon so these are the structures so in column b what are the structures that we have given osen osen is the specialized protein in bone matrix so nissels bodies of course in cyton 
there some of the granular dark granular structures that we come across those are called as nasal bodies nasal bodies right hence hence answer is nasal bodies neurons have nasal bodies and bone matrix has ossa is a type of protein present in that one then a is match with option 2 and b is match with the option 1 and rbcs rbcs are disc shaped non nucleated or e nucleated cells hence this is joined to non nucleated one and then c belongs to the option that is fourth one and lymphocytes are nothing but they are the kind of wbcs which produces antibodies there are two types of lymphocytes that we come across over here one is b type of lymphocytes and other one is t type of lymphocytes especially b type of lymphocytes are producing the antibodies over here which can fight against the antigens or the pathogens that enter into our body that's why so d it is match with third option then this is the answer you can observe in your material itself right so this is the correct answer for this question okay next one in animals gametes are derived from very important question it is and very interesting one let us see diagrammatically uh, then only you can understand so how the gametes are originating how the gametes are formed over here which tissue is responsible for that one let us see now testes are the male gonads a pair of testes are present inside the scrotal sac in male reproductive system you have studied this one in the previous class okay so i shall draw over here see here these are a pair of scrotal sacs inside which you will come across the testes how many testes in that we come across a pair of testes one testes you take out and take the cross section of the testes when you take the cross section or tears of the testes it looks like this okay many tubular structures that we come across inside the testes and all these tubular structures what are looking to be as oval in shape so from the so uh, overview that moment so these tubular structures are containing the specialized cells and a specialized lining over here so these cells are lined with a special type of epithelium and that is called as germinal epithelium germinal epithelium and that germinal epithelium that makes the lining around the seminiferous tubules right see a germinal epithelium is one kind of epithelium which is responsible for the formation of germ cells or the gametes see this is germinal epithelium and this epithelium is responsible for the formation of the germ cells or the gametes over here so in each tubule in each seminiferous tubule there the germinal epithelium they are lined with and those germinal cells divide themselves so as to form spermatogonial cells and later spermatogonial cells so later become sperms that's why so epithelium is the type of tissue 
which is responsible for the formation of the gametes over here. Yeah. Then let us see the options: epithelial tissue, nervous tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue. Then answer for this question is epithelial tissue, right? So the gametes are derived from the epithelial tissue. Okay. So next question. Inner lining of the stomach and intestine is formed of squamous epithelium, columnar epithelium, cuboidal epithelium, none of these. Already I have diagrammatically explained in theory that so the stomach as well as intestine are lined with columnar epithelium. Right. Hence, the answer for this question is columnar epithelium. Diagrammatically, we can see over here also. Yes, there is a J-shaped stomach that we come across over here, and this stomach is lined with columnar epithelium. The inner lining is lined with columnar epithelium, even the intestinal lining also. Columnar epithelium, it is lined with. So like this. So that is why answer for this question is. Answer for this question is columnar epithelium. Next question. See here, nodes of Ranvier are found in. Nodes of Ranvier are usually found in the so structural and functional unit of nervous tissue that is neuron. Right? So, especially in the neuron, Nodes of Ranvier are present in the muscle fiber he says, neuron he says, axon he says, sperm he says. See here, so to this neuron there are two parts are given over here. One is neuron is also there as well as axon is also there. But the nodes of Ranvier are usually found in Auxonal part. That's why correct answer for this question is auxon is the correct answer for this question. As you are seeing, this is the neuron. Structure of neuron, this is the cyton, and here you come across what? The auxon over here. So these are the specialized cells, scavengers. Okay, this is nothing but node of Ranvier. This is nothing but node of Ranvier where the <coughs> membrane of this axon, axolemma, is not at all. So. Uh, additionally added with the myelin sheet. Myelin sheet is not present at certain intervals of regular intervals. So that place looks to be as a nodal region and it is called as node of Ranier. Hence it is seen in the auxonal part. That's why node of Ranvier are found in auxon, right? Not in neuron. Of course, it is in neuron, but a part of neuron is auxon itself, in which it is found. Next question. Epithelial cells of the intestine involved in food absorption. Of course, epithelial cells inside the intestine are so doing one job that is absorption of the food have on their surface what do they have on their surface the cells have the free surface in the inner so lumen itself and that surface has some of the specialized structures 
that increase the absorption area itself area of absorption what are those structures they are nothing but villus what they are villus they are the finger like projections so which are formed from the free surface of the uh, epithelium right so epithelial cells of the intestine involved in food absorption have on their surface they are nothing but micro villi what they are known as micro villi right so pinocytic vesicles what are these pinocytic vesicles are the question arises see here so these are the specialized cells on the surface these cells engulf by stretching in the surface of the membrane and they engulf this liquid substances engulfing of liquid substances that take place by some of the specialized cells and they are called as pinocytes pinocytic vesicles they are also known as one thing and phagocytic cell phagocytic cell is a specialized cell which is usually present in form of macrophages in case of what areolar tissue i have already mentioned that they have irregular body shape and they stretch their pseudopodia see here this is one macrophage i can show over here and this macrophage stretch its pseudopodia like this stretch its pseudopodia like this so as to engulf the food material this is the food food may be the prey animal right so and this may be pathogen sometimes it may be pathogen it engulf this one into its body and intracellular digestion has been made over here and such kind of cells are said to be as phagocytes and this process is called as phagocytosis okay so engulf of the solid uh, prey animal or the food material by some of the specialized cells and that is called as phagocytosis right and these cells are called as phagocytes and one more is there zymogen granules or these are zymogen granules are also these are the specialized granules present in the so pancreatic gland or pancreas itself especially this gland is mixed gland why because it has two parts one is endocrine part and another one is exocrine part in the exocrine part there are certain specialized cell organelles that are zymogen granules these are a kind of cell organelles these are a kind of cell organelles present inside the cells of the exocrine part of the pancreas and they are responsible for packaging itself right so they are responsible for epicrine secretion of the enzymes right so these help in secretion of digestive enzymes these are responsible for secretion of the so digestive enzymes too such kind of granules are called as zymogen granules the correct answer is micro villus are the correct answer for this question itself right so these are the first 10 questions that we solved next one is yes the next question is life period of mammalian erythrocytes is as you know mammalian erythrocytes are nothing but rbcs so these uh, live for means they stay for about 120 days that's why answer is 120 days is the correct answer for this question next one choose the odd pair out in the following so there are some pairs are there one is odd pair is there so that is to be removed so let us see all of them so analyze one by one first one is 
aerial tissue aerial tissue is uh, matching with the collagen fibers of course aerial tissue it is one kind of loose connective tissue which contains white fibers they are collagen fibers okay that why it is a paired one it is correct one so it is not odd one right next one epithelial tissue keratin of course so stratified epithelium that is a pseudo stratified epithelium is there and stratified epithelium is also there stratified epithelium so which has the upper layer which is made up of squamous epithelial cells and those cells which are deposited with the so keratin protein that becomes keratinized or cornified so layer and that is usually present in the sole of the foot right that's why so it is also match one uh, epithelial tissue keratin it is also match one neuron melanin neuron is structural and functional unit of the nerve tissue melanin is nothing but it is the pigment which is secreted by the melanocytes present in the skin which is responsible for the skin coloration that's why it is odd one right neuron is not confined to or connected to so melanin that's why this is the correct answer for this question so this is the odd one we'll have to remove this one so muscle fiber actin as you know muscle fibers are there they are containing different kinds of globular proteins like actin is there as well as myosin is there so like this is a different types of proteins it contains that's why it is also matched one it is not odd one then which is the odd one so third one is the odd one neuron as well as melanin this is the correct answer for this question next question is which of the following is responsible for blood clotting there are some clotting factors are there proteins are there they are responsible for blood clotting itself and what are those one thrombocytes are the specialized cells responsible for the blood clotting right so thrombocytes right is the correct answer for this question thrombocytes is the correct answer what are granulocytes so they are a kind of wbcs which have granules in their cytoplasm granulocytes so there are three types of granulocytes are there based on their staining property neutrophils are there eosinophils are acidophils are there so as well as basophils are there so there are the three kinds of granulocytes so lymphocytes these are also kind of wbcs which come under a granulocytes monocytes are also kind of wbcs then the correct answer is thrombocytes next one two animal cells are interconnected by see here two animal cells are interconnected with they are connected with what so there must be one connection what is that connection let us see the options so one is plasmodes pata of course intercellular connections are there in case of plant cells they are named as plasmodes pata that why they he has mentioned animal cell that's why this is not a correct answer for this question cell wall cell wall doesn't connect interconnect to cells so that's why cell wall is also not there desmosomes very important one desmosomes are the fiber like structures which are seen in adhering junctions so especially so those desmosomes which connect to animal cells that's why answer correct answer for this one is desmosomes so plasma membrane is also not responsible for connecting two cells next question is mast cells secrete as you know mast cells secrete so mainly the histamine histamine is secreted by the mast cell mast cell is one of the cells present in areolar tissue as you know it better right histamine is the correct answer for this question and all others are wrong why because hemoglobin hemoglobin is a pigment right present in the rbcs in case of what the 
vertebrates or mammals. So hippuric acid itself is a waste product. Itself is the waste product formed in the so as an excretory product it is formed in the body. Myoglobin. They are a kind of proteins present inside the muscles. Right? So myoglobin. Already I have spelled this word that is myoglobin. There are kind of proteins present in the muscle system, right? That's why correct answer is histamine, right? Next one, nerve cells do not divide because they don't have. Of course, nerve cells do not duplicate or divide themselves. Why do they not divide? So what is wrong with them cells? How do they differ from the normal cells which undergo division usually? Right? So the question arises. So usually these nerve cells do not have, they do not have one of the cell organelles that is centrosome. So centrosome is absent in these cells. That's why, that's why, so these cells do not undergo division itself. So because of centrosome is totally absent. That's why answer is centrosome. So it is not because of the nucleus. Of course it has nucleus. Galgi body. So not responsible for that one. Mitochondria is also not responsible for that one. Only the centrosomes are. So helping for the formation of spindle fibers. During the movement of chromosomes. On either sides of the what? On either poles of the cell. That's why centrosome is one of the cell organelle so which is absent in nerve cells or neurons muscles attached to the humerus by next question is muscles attached to the humerus so what is humerus it is the bone present in the upper limb of four limbs so this bone itself is called as humerus bone so and this bone to which the muscles are attached so muscles attach to bone with the help of what? With the help of tendons. That's why answer is tendons is the correct answer for this question. Ligaments, bone to bone, adipose as well as areolar tissue as well are the loose connective tissue. Okay. Tendons and ligaments are specialized type of they are the special type of what? What kind of a special type of a structures they are? So, tendons as well as ligaments are formed from dense connective tissue. Right? They are a dense connective tissue. So, tendons are mainly consisting of white collagen fibers. Right? They are arranged regularly. Hence, it is a regular dense connective tissue. Right? So, that is why it is not at all a nervous tissue. That's why this is not the answer for this question. It is not the muscular tissue. That's why this is also not the answer for this question. This is not at all the epithelial tissue. What it is fibrous connective tissue? It is consisting of what? The tendons consisting of white fibers and ligaments consisting of yellow fibers, right? So they are fibrous connective tissue. Hence, correct answer is fibrous connective tissue. Next question is ligaments are connective tissues that connect. What ligaments connect? Already I have mentioned. So ligaments they connect bone to bone. They help in connecting bone to bone. So bone to muscles is tendons. Muscles to muscles as well as muscle to skin. They are not confined to this one. That's the answer is bone to bone. Ligaments are meant specially for connecting bone to bone. And the next question is, myelin sheath is derived from. Where is this myelin sheath derived from? Already I have told you, so neuroglial cells are the specialized cells. Among them, oligodendrocytes are the specialized cells. They secrete what the myelin and they help in making the Myelin sheath. That's why answer is myelin sheath is derived from neuroglial cells. 
so it is derived from the neuroglial cells right so this is more important aspect to be remember so next one is keratinized dead layer is made up of already i have told you keratinized so squamous epithelium is present on the sole of the foot so it is a dead layer so which is made up of squamous epithelium then stratified squamous epithelium is the correct answer for this one this is not cuboidal one this is not columnar one it is not stratified columnar one that is why answer is stratified squamous epithelium all right so match the following this is more important question is there before us now the last question so in column 1 all the tissues are here in column 2 all the structures are here these structures are lined by certain tissues and what the tissues make the lining of these structures let us see now sir so first one is squamous epithelium that makes the lining of the blood vessels then a four is correct answer and b cuboidal epithelium it makes the lining of the ovary right then it is three b three and columnar epithelium it makes the inner lining of intestine as well as stomach some of the intestinal cells they modify themselves into glands so single celled glands so they are meant specially for secretion of enzymes right the mucus glands are there or goblet cells are there so that's why columnar epithelium is linked with what c1 that is intestinal glands and ciliated epithelium ciliated epithelium is connected with what bronchioles cilia are present in bronchioles that why b5 and pseudo stratified this makes the inner lining of trachea that why so this is e this is 2 2 is the answer for this question so this is the solution of this question by this we finished so some more questions up to 22 now one thing should be very clear to you students here myelin sheath is derived from so neuroglial cells i said and neuroglial cells they form the myelin sheath around the axon in case of central nervous system and one more thing is in your material answer is so scaven cells of course it is also there but it is formed in case of pms right so this is more important thing you must remember and the main myelin sheath in central nervous system is made by the neuroglial cells and in pms scaven cells so answer of course so scaven cell is also right over here okay so this must be very clear to you now yes so next questions are which of the following pairs of the structures distinguishes a nerve cell from other types of cells so how do you differentiate nerve cell and other type of cells this is the question right so what usually present in the cells normal cells as well as nerve cells that makes the difference so let us go through that one so vacuoles and fibers usually they are present in all the normal cell ferro flagellum as well as medullary sheath of course flagellum is present in lower cells like prokaryotic cells so nucleus and mitochondria these are also quite natural so they are present in normal cells perikaryon and dendrites perikaryon is nothing but centron or the cell body as well as the dendrites so they are totally different from normal cell that's why this makes the difference between normal cell as well as uh, nerve cell 
that's why this is the correct answer for this question and the next question is the dense strong tissue with parallel bundles of collagen fibers which joins skeletal muscles with the bone is called as see here so there is a strong tissue in which the parallel arrangement of the collagen fibers that take place over here and they help in attachment of muscles with the bone usually you know muscles are bonded to the bones with the help of tendons then the answer is very simple so white fibers are white collagen fibers they are arranged parallelly so forming a strong structure or cord like structure they are nothing but tendons tendons that join bones with the muscles that is the answer is tendons okay and the next question find a wrongly matched pair so which are wrongly matched pair let us see squamous epithelium it makes the skin of the frog as i said skin of the frog is very delicate and very thin right it is highly vascularized so what it means is what it means is it is lined by the squamous epithelium that's why so this pair is match work columnar epithelium that makes peritoneum of body what is this peritoneum this is the thin membrane that encovers or that makes the inner lining of the abdominal cavity as well as pelvic cavity there the inner uh, organs are all so protected by this one this columnar epithelium it is made up of he says so actually it is not at all columnar epithelium it is squamous epithelium so or mesothelium it is made up of mesothelium mesothelium it is made up of that is why it is a kind of so squamous epithelium that is why this is wrongly paired one ciliated epithelium bronchioles of course it is right stratified epithelium esophagus it is right so that's why this is the answer for this question non cellular layer that connects inner surface of epithelium to connective tissue is so already i have told you so there is a non cellular so structure which is lying below the epithelium and that is nothing but what so basement membrane that connects to the connective tissue right so that's why answer for this question is basement membrane is the correct answer not the epidermis this is the upper layer dermis is nothing but skin what we call that so either a and b these are also wrong so basement membrane is the correct answer for this one match the following so once again the match the following like question work out over here in column one all these are the tissues right and the column two all these are the structures in which the linings of these tissues are seen over here first one squamous epithelium so squamous epithelium is usually makes the lining in the bowman's capsule in the bowman's capsule that's why it is connected with the second one bowman's capsule so there are two layer outer one and inner layer that we come across outer one is lined by squamous epithelium as you can observe over here so this is inner one and this is outer one it is lined with the squamous epithelial tissue right squamous epithelial tissue hyaline cartilage usually hyaline cartilage is also glossy in nature glossy in nature and this hyaline cartilage so that makes the trachea the trachea so the trachea consisting of hyaline cartilage and adipose tissue so this is the tissue which is lying below the skin it is lying below the skin and ultimately the smooth muscles they make the wall of the stomach then which is the correct answer for this one 
a is connected to two, a two, and hyaline cartilage connected to trachea, that is b four, and adipose tissue is connected to below the skin, c one, and smooth muscles, so four, that is d three. So this is the correct answer for this question. Right? This is match the following type of question. Next one. So which of the following is a non-excitable? He is saying non-excitable, variously shaped. Of course, various shaped cells. These are found between the neurons. They are the supporting cells. They are found between the neurons, and they are variously modified one. So that kind of cells are nothing but. They are the supportive cells which are commonly known as what? Glial cells. What they are commonly known as? Glial cells. Right? So they are glial cells. Hence the answer is glial cells. Not the uh, uh, scaven cells, nasal granules, or dendrites. So dendrites are excitable. They help in conduction of the so impulses. Right? So next one. The type of cell junctions that facilitate cell to cell communication. There are three types of cell junctions that we come across. One is adhering junction. Second one is tight junction as well as so the gap junction. Usually they facilitate the cell to cell communication. So that is nothing but so that is gap junctions, right? And the next in the myelinated neurons. The adjacent myelin sheath are separated by the gaps called as the adjacent myelin sheath is so um, uh, there are some gaps are there between the cells. This is one neuron you can draw here. This is one cell. This is also another cell. This is the next cell. This is the next cell. Okay, there is a gap. The gap in itself is known as what? Node of Ranvier. What it is called as? Node of Ranvier. Hence, the answer for this question is Node of Ranvier. What is synaptic cleft? See here, one neuron and another neuron. In between two neurons, there is a gap. And that gap itself is called as synaptic cleft. It is for us. It is the gap between two neurons. It is the gap between two neurons. Synaptic knob, you know. So there are some button-like structures which are seen at the end of the or the terminal part of the so axon, and those button-like structures are known as synaptic knobs, right? So this has the end, and this end has knob-like structure, and that knob-like structure is called a synaptic knob, right? Scaven cell, you know it better. So why this we finished all the thirty questions. So in this session, and uh, uh, remaining questions we'll discuss in the next video. Thank you.